Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please always remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Today, our discussion will be on feather derivatives. Feather derivatives. So, as we learned the last time, if let's say we have a dependent variable y equal to maybe 5s exponent 4 plus 6s exponent 3 plus 7x exponent 2 minus 8s plus 2. And we are asked to find the derivative dy over dx. Remember we said we can we drop the exponent to multiply the coefficient of the variable. So 4 times 5, 20x. We reduce the exponent by 1. 6 multiply 3, making 18. Reduce the exponent by 1. 2 multiply the 7, making 14. Reduce the exponent by 1. Then the differentiation of a linear term is the coefficient of the variable and the differentiation of the constant is zero so we are we are aware of this the feta derivative comes into mind or comes into play when we are asked to further differentiate our the, our first derivative so we call it the second derivative or the second differential so that would be d square y over d a square it simply means that we should differentiate this again. So we differentiate this again. We drop this to multiply this. That becomes 16x and reduce the exponent by 1. That becomes 2. We let the 2 multiply 18. That will be 36. Then we reduce the exponent by 1. Then the differentiation of a linear term here is the coefficient of the variable and the differentiation of the constant is zero we can further differentiate this again and say d creep y over ds creep so this will be we we'll drop this to multiply this that will be 120 x that's we reduce the exponent by one then the differentiation of a linear term is the coefficient of the variable so when we are asked to find d square y by ds square or d script y by ds script, we first differentiate the curve to get our first differential. Then the d square y by ds square means the differential of the dy over ds, the differential of the first derivative. Then the third differential is the differential of the second derivative. I hope you understand this. I'll solve one more example on this. So that you'll be abreast with it. So, there is this, another question on the board. They say if y equal to the square root of x minus 1 over s squared, find dy over dx, find d square y over ds squared, then find d cube y over ds squared. So, let's get the ball rolling. Okay. Our curve is y equal to the square root of x minus 1 over x squared. We can rewrite this as s exponent half minus s exponent negative 2. This from indices that when a number is being exponented as a fraction, you can set it to the top to become negative. It's the same way when it is negative, you can bring it down to become positive. So now we differentiate this. We find dy over dx. What do we do? We drop the power half and subtract 1 from the exponent. So half minus 1 will be negative half. We drop the power here. Remember here is negative. When a negative comes to multiply, it becomes plus 2x. The negative 2, we subtract 1 from the exponent. So negative 2 minus 1 will be negative 3. We can polish this to become 1 over, I'll drop this to 
with x two one over two x exponent half plus two over x exponent three. You can further write this as one over two the square root of x plus two over x squared. This becomes our first derivative. So our first derivative was this. We can rewrite this as I told you as half s exponent negative half plus 2s exponent negative 3. Now to find the second derivative. Thus d square y over ds square. So we drop it again. Half negative half we multiply the half here. So we have negative 1 over 4 x. Then we reduce we subtract 1 from negative half. So negative half minus 1 you know that will be the LCM is 2. So negative 1 minus 2. That will be negative 3 over 2. So have negative 3 over 2. Remember we drop this power. So negative 3 times 2 will be negative 6. Then we subtract 1 from the exponent. That will become negative 4. We can repolish this to be negative 1 over 4 s exponent 3 second minus 6 over s exponent 4. This becomes our second derivative. That is d square y over d s square. Okay. So remember this was our second derivative. So we we'll differentiate the second derivative to get a third derivative. Thus, our d equip y over d s p. So we differentiate this. We we'll drop the exponent negative 3 over 2 to multiply negative 1 over 4. So negative 1 over 4 times negative 3 over 2. That will be 3 over 8. Remember, negative multiply negative will be positive. So we have 3 out of 8x then we subtract 1 from the exponent that's negative 3 over 2 minus 1 remember the LCM here is 2 so that will be negative 3 1 going to 2 that will be 2 times 1 that will be 2 so we have negative 5 out of 2 so once we subtract 1 we get negative 5 out of 2 I hope you get that. It's just a fraction of fractions. Then we drop these two. So when negative multiply this negative, we have positive. So positive 24 x. Then we subtract 1 from the exponent again. Negative 4 minus 1. That will be negative 5. Now we we'll polish this very well. So we have 3 over 8 x. Because it's negative, we'll drop it to become positive. 5 over 2 plus 24. This is also negative, so s is 5. Then this becomes the third derivative, a third derivative of this function. A third derivative of it. I hope you get it. And I know you go over it again. And remember to leave your comment. Very, very important. Your comment keeps me going. So remember to leave your comments in your comments box. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. Share my videos to those that are, will help. The video will help. Share it to them so that they can gain knowledge. You know, night by night call for peace. But day by day calls for knowledge. So let's seek for knowledge. I'll put one more question on the board. Try to solve it and get back to me. Thank you. Bye-bye.